hello so what uh, i'm going to show you today is how a grid tie inverter works uh, which is also called uh, as a grid tie system or a grid connected system uh, the essential components are these like a solar panel uh, that's uh, the silver box over there is a grid tie inverter uh, and this is what you might want to call a net meter which will show you how much energy is being generated and this is like a load uh, what the load I have over here is a 100 watt uh, incandescent bulb so regular bulb if you see it's a 100 watt bulb uh, there you go uh, and uh, this is just a, a basic power meter which tells how many uh, watts of power is being generated so I'll, I'll run you the, through the connections again what I've done is I've taken this uh, 75 watt panel uh, currently because of limitation of space I've just placed it out uh, in my balcony uh, connected it to a grid tied inverter this is a 300 watt grid tied inverter that's the 300 over there for that uh, what I'm seeing over here is the output to the grid if you'll see the green lights flashing uh, sequentially from the left to right or sorry from the right to the left is showing power is being exported to the grid uh, this particular wire is connected uh, all the way around here into this power strip and you'll see there's a green light uh, showing that it's connected to the meter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the light and you'll see turn off the grid tie connection and you'll see that uh, the reading goes to zero so essentially no power is being exported right now now to check the bulb like how much the bulb consumes I want to turn off turn on the bulb there you go and you'll see that the reading quickly climbs up to 102 watts over here actually there you go it's 102 watts now what's going to happen is as soon as I'm going to turn on the grid tide inverter which is currently so we'll assume it to be at 102 watts the grid tide inverter is in the off mode and you'll see that there's a fault there's a red LED it shows that there's a fault that means the uh, no power is being exported right so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on so that like it changes from red to green and you'll see it's going to start exporting power soon there you go so it's pumping back power into the grid and what you'll see is the bulb is taking I'm going to move this slightly away so that you can read the meter a little better maybe put it on this side there you go so we see it's consuming uh, 85 watts uh, earlier it was 102 watts minus uh, so that's about 17 watts is being generated from solar and the rest is coming from the grid so just to show you what what's going on what I'm going to do is I'm going to again turn off the bulb so that we can see the power being generated from the grid which is at 19 and uh, when I turn on the bulb it shows 104 and then settles down to 85 so 85 and then I'm already generating 20 so that's 105 or 104 watts so the bulb is consuming 104 watts 20 watts is being generated by solar so net power that is being consumed from the grid is 84 watts uh, just to see that our calculations are correct what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the grid again uh, turn off the solar power again and uh, it should bounce back to 104 watts I'm assuming assuming that solar is generating uh, 20 watts there you go so that's 104 watts the bulb is still on right so again like uh, doing that particular uh, 
experiment again. Maybe if I place it over here. It's hard to get the contrast right on this thing. So now what I'm going to do again is like I'm going to turn on the grid connection. And you'll see the numbers go down. It should come back to 85 or 84. There you go. So it's coming down to 85. That means I'm generating about 19 watts from the grid. And if I turn off the bulb, it should show me only the uh, only solar, which is about 19 watts, which is we are generating. Or now it's 20. So essentially, what's happening is all the power that's coming from the solar panel over here gets converted from DC to AC by the small guy which comes all the way till the grid all the way up to this point it's here that like it interacts with the grid and starts exporting all of that power back which is at this point at 20 watts but if I happen to have a load in the middle before the power can get to the grid it'll supply the power to the load uh, so the solar power of 20 watts that's being generated instead of going to the grid if once I turn on this bulb, uh, all the power will go towards the bulb and uh, the bulb still requires more power to run. So that power will come from the grid which is being shown over here as 85, 86 watts. Meaning that out of the 105 watts that the bulb wants, uh, it's getting 20 watts from, the grid, uh, from solar and the rest 85, 86 from the grid. Uh, conversely, now that I turn off, the solar it's gonna take all the power from the grid which is at 104 so uh, that's it guys uh, that's a, a little presentation I'm gonna keep the grid on let it keep feeding back into the house and see what uh, how much we can save uh, another thing you'll see that uh, if I go and change it it shows that up till now since the couple of hours ago I've generated 0 0.02 kilowatt hours of power to my house uh, I, right now the voltage is at 240 239 uh, the current that I'm getting is 2.55 milliamps uh, it keeps wearing you can say maybe 1 milliamp is the power that I'm generally generating this is my power factor that's the watts again that we're generating so for some reason it has gone down to zero i think i have a loose connection over here uh, that's why it keeps it does that otherwise it's pretty stable and turning on the bulb will give me the same thing 84 watts and turning off the solar gives me 104 watts it takes a few seconds for uh, once you turn on the solar for it to take an effect because uh, the inverter, the grita inverter has to sink with the grid. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching.